Um, let me reflect that the board came out of closed session at 6.38 p.m. Ms. Marico. I move that we overrule Mr. Rain's request for a continuance to obtain new legal counsel for the Board of Education. There's a motion on the floor by Ms. Marica. Is there a second? I would like to ask for a point of clarity. I, I don't think it's unclear, but I think it might be good to add additional clarity. So a vote in favor of this motion will deny the continuance, correct? Correct would deny the continuance based on legal counsel. And then as a board, we have to come back to the second continuance request. Correct. Is there a second? Second. Can you repeat the motion, please? The, the motion was, I move that we overrule Mr. Wayne's request for a continuance to obtain new legal counsel for the Board of Education. Motion by Ms. Merica, second by Ms. Godding. Roll call. Holman? Aye. Merica? Aye. Perlman? No. Ryan? No. Snow? No. Cassidy? Aye. Godding? Aye. Four aye, three no. Motion carries. Uh, moving on, I will now, we will now. But there was a more negative than positive, correct? There was uh, four I Thank and you. three no. I will now entertain a motion to continue or not to continue the board meeting. Continuance. Did you call my name? I have not Everyone's called looking your name. at me, so I'm Are sorry. You? No, I have not called your name. Based on a request for additional time by defense counsel, well, not defense counsel, by uh, You're not at work. Mr. Wayne. I will now entertain a motion to grant or not to grant uh, additional time to Mr. Wayne and his client to review the transcript and additional evidence and evidence. Correct, and I apologize, that is my question. I think we should only have one of those options for a motion. He, he's not making a motion. He's saying he would entertain either okay, of those motions based on the will of the board. I, I move to uh, grant a continuance requested by Mr. Wayne. Second. There's a motion by Mr. Perlman, second by Dr. Holman. Discussion? Mr. Perlman? I, uh, 
would ask the board to grant uh, Mr. Wayne's continuance and I would also ask the board to allow Mr. Wayne to articulate uh, any additional reasons that he may have uh, in support of his motion since it's been a while um, just to make sure that both sides have an equal opportunity to present their reasons for or against uh, <coughs> granting a continuance um, I think it's always uh, courteous uh, if any attorney makes a reasonable request to continue a, a hearing uh, to allow that continuance. Um, we're talking about uh, an issue that is very important to a retired or retiring employee of Omaha Public Schools. And I see no harm in allowing uh, the appellant uh, a full opportunity to be prepared for a hearing that is important to her. And so uh, on that basis, I would urge the board to uh, grant a continuance. Anyone else? Mr. Ray, roll call. America? No. Perlman? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Snow? Aye. Cassidy? Aye. Godding? Aye. Holman? Aye. Six I one no. Motion passes. May I briefly be heard? I want to thank the board for their continuance. Uh, furthermore, uh, I know it'll take a board action because of the weather, as we found out today, that starts snowing at 7 but did not, is not going to happen till, uh, as Mr. Evans uh, spoke, maybe till 9 in the morning. I would ask that any notice uh, and any resolution set forth lock in a specific date but also leave like we do in the legal world or a later debt set therein. So in case it snows, we're not set in a locked date, and we can figure out the best date so we're not here on a snowy emergency day uh, and hindering and hampering both parties in that matter. Mr. Wayne, are you willing to waive the 10 days? 10 day notice, uh, yes. Thank you. That the hearing be held in 10 days. From today? Yes, um, subject to, I mean, I'm subject to weather. Uh, part of the issue is I'm supposed to be in Lincoln tonight, and I couldn't because I had to come here. Uh, so I'm hoping subject to weather. I mean, again, it's middle, I'll be here. I'll make it work. I have a truck. But if the board can't be here, then we're stuck in the same situation where you have to have a majority <clears throat> vote on a continuance. So I'm leaving the door open by saying, and other dates that are you partisan. waiving the 10 day requirement for the appeal I already answered that in the affirmative sir So j just to confirm, you're agreeing that to waive the requirement that the appeal be held within 10 days of when your the appeal hearing be held within 10 days of when the appeal was filed. Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, let me. I guess the meeting's over, right? Let me. Yes, the meeting's adjourned at 6:47.